tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hi folks, today we'll create a cloth simulation and let the cloth run backwards, the simulation backwards. Simulations always go forward in time. So Maya calculates the next frame, the next, the next, etc. It cannot step back. We can step back using a cache, which is quite a kind of a, a temporary solution, but uh, if we want to really reverse the whole animation we need to bake the keyframes and that is not trivial at all. Actually I searched the web and I didn't find what I needed until I really did some research and uh, it's a tiny menu entry which you need to change really. Okay let's start with uh, a simple polygon plane and here in the attribute editor we make it a little bit bigger and add more subdivisions because uh, with cloth it's always good to have lots of subdivisions. Now uh, if you have a prepared shader I uh, use an existing material which I created in Alchemist, Substance Alchemist, uh, just uh, to, because this is more fun. Uh, make your own shader, make it red or whatever or get your material from wherever you have. In the outliner we have the end plane and nothing else really, uh, which is good. And now we go to FX here and under FX we choose end cloth and we create cloth from that object. What it does, it falls down and we don't even need to see this because we know it already. Uh, we go to the nucleus and change the gravity from 9.8 to 0. Now the cloth won't fall down and in order to make it behave uh, a little bit wavy and foldy, uh, we'll introduce a, a field. For example, a turbulence field, which comes with a magnitude of 5. And we increase this to 14, maybe. Oh, add your taste. And now you have a deformation here, and the cloth is behaving like cloth. I have a frame range of 200 frames. This is enough for me to see what I need. And now I want this animation to go backwards. How do I do this? I won't tell you all the cul-de-sacs which you could do and fail. But I show you something which certainly fails and which is obvious. It, uh, it's obvious that it should work, but it fails. You select it and then you go to Edit and Keys and bake simulation or it's the same command really you select it go to animation and here you have key and down here you have bake simulation as well these are the default settings here and when we use the default settings and apply this Maya runs through the whole simulation and creates keyframes which you'll see appear down here the keyframes, you can have a look at the keyframes or whatever was keyed uh, under Windows and Animation Editors, Graph Editor. And here you see only straight lines. And another thing which tells you that there was nothing keyed really um, is when you go to Edit, Delete All by Type and Static Channels. The static channels are the channels which don't move. No motion nor no parameter changes from one frame to the next. And when you apply this, nothing is left. So this is not the way to bake the cloth simulation. The way to bake the cloth simulation is this. You need to pick the vertices because the vertices are the parts which move. And um, it's a cloth, cloth object actually stays in the same place only the simulation makes pretends that it moves. So what we just baked was a static position really. But now we bake these uh, control vertices. We go to edit, keys, bake simulation and we click control points. We don't even need the shape. I think control points is enough. These are the control points which control our surface and now we apply this.
when we have a look at the keyframes now in Windows Animation Editor's Graph Editor, and have a look here, we see quite wonderful keyframes. When we select all of them down here, you see the whole range of keyframes here. And what you can do now is, I won't demonstrate it because it slows down Maya dramatically, uh, you can scale these keyframes. So you would start scaling in the middle and drag in all the way to the right or left. So this pointed part here, where the simulation ends, uh, goes here and the thick part goes to the other side. But that's, I mean, we have maybe a thousand keyframes here because we have so many control vertices. That's not the way to do it and it always won't be that precise. And there's a very easy way to proceed from here. And for that purpose we need to take an extra step which is right mouse click here in the outliner we need to check the shapes. And uh, the end plane, which is right here, has a sub shape which is called output cloth. We go to Windows, Animation Editors, and the Time Editor. And we add the selected content from the scene now, the output cloth to the scene. It takes a while because there are so many keyframes involved. And if your computer is a four kernel computer, this might even take maybe 10 seconds or so. Now we select it and we go to Retime. And under Retime we find Create and Edit a Time Warp and that's exactly what we want. And we can minimize the Time Editor now because the Graph Editor shows us two keyframes which is very very elegant. The two keyframes, one at 0 and 0 and the other one at 100 99 and 199 is the collection of all the tiny keyframes we have here. So what we'll do now is we just reverse this curve so it doesn't go up, it goes down. So we need to keep this number in mind here. So we select it, type in 0, and then we select this one and type in 199. So we only use the time editor to do this very simple and easy and straightforward reverse reversing of this animation. Now when we run the simulation, we go in back. And that's all I wanted to show you. If you don't succeed, follow the steps I did in detail because it's really tricky. This tiny menu entry here, Edit, Keys, Bake Simulation and Control Points. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.